So there was that. And also I wanted to uh, confess to you guys, I was driving the other day and uh, I hit a bear. Uh, oh, no, you hit a bear? And it's still in my trunk and I'm wondering what I should what? do with it. A dead uh, bear's in your trunk? <laughs> Have you not uh, watched the card? Carter, Carter, Carter yes. doesn't go on the internet Oh, so fuck much yeah! that he doesn't even get <laughs> what you're referencing. If you're a Patreon subscriber, you'll see how gullible I am. Too, oh, no, my no. eyes were literally like, huh? <laughs> Carter is the... I'm smartest. on the computer all day long. And Are you really? Yeah, I was going to say you're the smartest well, person well, for not being on the I computer know. all day well, long. What's your well, algo like? What are well, they? no, I, I'm not on the internet. I edit all day long and I oh, listen to music yeah. on oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so it's not popping up uh, <laughs> the... <laughs> the, the social uh, media, uh, social okay. media. I, I, I get like politics. the requisite amount of news where I'm like, Tim Waltz is the new uh, is mm-hmm. Connell's running mate. Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to know yes. for today. So you get like <laughs> yeah. the Billboard number one album <laughs> yeah. of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, music! I do like. See, I spend most of my time being like the really deepest of dives of music, but uh-huh. like. Like actual news, I should know to be an adult. I'm like, I know the one thing that everyone might talk about today. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, well th- this has nothing to do with uh, being an adult. It just has to do with uh, our, I mean, our, let's say it, our favorite candidate, uh, RFK, Rivers' uh, favorite, Brain per- Rivers. Rivers' person of the year. After who was the last year? The My Pillow guy, possibly. Yeah, my one hundred percent was that. We read excerpts from his fucking book. I, I read the whole book. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, true. it's it's in it a it's true. in a YouTube clip. Omnibus, go check it out. It's Omnibus. Four hours of me talking about that book. No. Uh, RF- okay, so RFK's running mate hit a bear. Oh, not running mates. Uh, so there, well, RFK's <laughs> person hit a bear. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, man! So and it was a while ago. Yeah. So there's this. <laughs> He's such a fucking <laughs> chaos agent. It's amazing. It's fucking amazing. Like it's. Uh, well, it's, if you don't, there there's a very little known article because why would it be that known from back when this happened? That somebody yes. was just like someone left a bear carcass in Manhattan. <laughs> like in, I wasn't. Was it Manhattan Park or was it? Was it was in Central Park. It was in Central Park. So yeah. here's what happened. There's this New Yorker article that's out today uh, that was written by Claire Malone. And it's just this long profile that's basically just his entire biography. And if you ever wondered where RFK got all of his strange beliefs, it kind of goes point by point where like at some point he was on LSD at a diner and saw a painting of his father and JFK and like, Jesus if I, praying. If I was a Kennedy, I would never trip. You know <laughs> no. what I mean? Like how are you not going to see anything but skulls and crossbones? <laughs> <laughs> Like as soon yeah. as it fucking like seeps into the, like there's no chill trip if you're a candidate. Yeah, well that's what happened to him. He saw a painting at a diner of Jesus, RFK, and JFK praying together, and it sent him on a bad trip. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because you're of, doomed. What kind of diner is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, well, it was in Massachusetts, so a Massachusetts yeah. diner, I imagine. But oh, okay. Let's see if I can find this painting. I know, right? Online. Well, sure. so he goes walking and he's really freaking out, man. And it said that he encountered a gang of youths who were like, "Hey, man." Try Try some of this. It'll help you out. And they gave him meth. <laughs> and <laughs> and the next line is like, and that sent him down a 14-year spiral of Happened addiction. Happened to be at the Billie Eilish concert. <laughs> I mean, it's just such a strange... I mean, I don't know. I guess the 70s were different, but just encountering... Just uh, roaming gangs of drug-using <laughs> teenagers who were like, try some, dude. Yeah, they were like, have some of my drugs. <laughs> Have some of my drugs that I, I risked life and limb to get and were expensive. <laughs> I pulled some of the funniest shit from this article. This one uh, says, when Kennedy was 11, he injured his foot jumping off a roof. And during his recovery, his father bought him a red tail hawk. Is this how he got into falconry? Uh-huh. I remember him being into falconry. <laughs> so that, that was one of the fun things about him. <laughs> so that ignited uh-huh. a lifelong passion for falconry. Kennedy has said that as a child, he had difficulty concentrating in school. Quote, I broke thermometers and rolled balls of mercury down my desk. Desk. I would really that goes in your skin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he never had a chance to be normal. Like, he says he says I would doodle hawks and iguanas. I would doodle hawks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, doodle, not diddle. Doodle. Not diddle. Doodle. Probably hawks. diddle too. Though. Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit. <laughs> you know, he's figured a hawk or two. <laughs> <laughs> I would doodle hawks and iguanas and daydream about Hungarian homing pigeons. And he actually uh, talked about uh, his childhood a little bit in uh, kind of a famous video from 1997. My childhood was typical. <laughs> <laughs> Summers in Rangoon. <laughs> Luge lessons. In the spring, we'd make meat helmets. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, he would make outrageous claims like he invented, he invented the question, the question mark. mark. Yes. That, every fucking thing I read about him, he it just awkward. reminds me of this speech from Austin Powers. <laughs> it's fucking great. Because yeah. everything he says is uh, fucking insane, but also what a rich guy would do. Uh, well, he's also just a product of a very, very uh, stressful environment growing up, probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there's no way it was chill around no. the house. <laughs> so, 
for a while there in the uh, mid 2000s, and I remember this because I was subscribed at the time. He kind of wrote articles pretty regularly for Rolling Stone and mostly was like kind of about environmentalism. And they kind of interviewed some of the people who worked at Rolling Stone at the time, sort of talked about when it took that turn of him coming in and being like, I've written 5,000 pages about why vaccines will make you into a mutant or whatever. Uh, <laughs> This guy. Speaking of which, has anyone uh, mutated yet? <laughs> no, I'm still good, but they're still uh, talking about that shit on like Infowars. They're like, you know, there's a, there's a fuse. It's four year long fuse on the vaccine. <laughs> Watch like, what I can do now. He's got Matilda powers, folks. <laughs> 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 they call me the motherfucking last Mimsy. <laughs> bitch. I have I have Bruce Bogtrotter powers. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Oh God, I look just like that kid. I can eat pounds of shit and then oh, burp and die. <laughs> God, that, that cake is. Maybe the most delicious looking cake I've ever seen in a film. <laughs> that chocolate fudge German. I can close my eyes and see it behind my eyelids. <laughs> it's so delicious. And I, feel, I, looked, I feel like that with the fistfuls of cake and it smeared <laughs> all over my face. I feel like that like at least four or five times a week. <laughs> and I look exactly like that kid when I was young, too. <laughs> you don't get a body like this without being like Bruce Bogtrotter a couple Telling times you. a week. But yeah, apparently he came into Rolling Stone's office at some point and uh, gave a speech about environmentalism that brought everybody to the brink of tears and then also revealed that he had in a bucket an injured baby bird Aww. that he brought in with him. And he said, <laughs> quote, this is Will Dana, the guy who worked at Rolling Stone at the time. He said, so then we have our meeting and we do our thing. And suddenly he's like, hey, I got to go. Uh, can you get one of your interns to take this bird to the vet? <laughs> So I love a guy who just shows up with like an active problem. Hey, it's you like, want, you want to take care of that? Yeah, yeah. Can you <laughs> deal with this? <laughs> like he was about to just like put it in a waste basket. He's like, oh, I mean, or, or you can save it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, apparently he did say that was not true. But also it's like, why would why would they make this up specifically? Especially considering. Uh, I don't think this guy has a good memory. He's yeah. Been fucking no. Playing with mercury. <laughs> yes. He's been playing with mercury and then doing uh, the most dog shit heroin that Europe had to offer for most of the 70s uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so yeah oh uh, he, he was a heroin addict too oh hell yeah he was a everything that's why his voice uh, is all fucked up uh, he, her he heroined himself into that voice interesting <laughs> the thing i was referencing at the beginning is this so one day in the fall of 2014 He's not just an adult. He's like a, an old guy at this point. Uh, Kennedy was driving to a falconry outing in upstate New York when he passed a furry brown mound on the side of the road. He pulled over and discovered that it was the carcass of a black bear cub. And so, uh, you know, most of us would sure. be like, wow, that's uh, that's crazy. That's a bear. Uh, okay. And then you would just keep There'd driving. Keep going, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kennedy was tickled by the find. <laughs> <laughs> yes he was like oh my an idea have i <laughs> he loaded the dead bear into the rear hatch of his car and later showed it off to his friends so this was going to come out and so he decided to get ahead of this story by sharing his version of this story on x formerly twitter with roseanne <laughs> Nice. And it's really just one of the weirdest goddamn videos I've ever seen because he's telling the story. He's like, oh, obviously, I was going to skin the bear and then put the meat in my fridge. You have to get a tag in New York State to eat <laughs> dead bear off the road. <laughs> so he's he's a Kennedy, but he has the same mindset of someone who eats roadkill <laughs> in like fucking <laughs> Mississippi. Yeah, just the most Spunion Nepo baby of all time. <laughs> oh, yeah. So in a picture from that day, Kennedy is putting his fingers inside the bear's bloody mouth a comical grimace across his face and he later joked uh, that might be where i got my brain worm <laughs> I was like, yeah, it might be. Jesus. Uh, so after the outing, Kennedy, who was then <laughs> 60. All, all Kamala has to do is appear normal. <laughs> I know. All she has to do just is hold girl, the line. Just appear just normal. hold the line and be a person. You're like, good. <laughs> it's like the most deranged set of fucking <laughs> candidates <laughs> well, ever. Uh, RFK is crazy because he literally has no chance. No. Yeah, yeah, no. he has no chance. Well, and he's so like. You may as well just like watch him spin out like crazy while he's in the public eye. But I mean, right. he will forever because he's become a presidential candidate yeah well he's also like a fucking edgelord too like in this article he's just like oh i'm here to hurt trump and uh harris or whatever <laughs> like that's yeah. Uh, like yeah okay and he does have for like some republicans who like trump is too much or they've been shamed too much by their families to vote for trump or whatever they're yeah. like well what about rfk right right <laughs> like, well, he actually might divert votes right well if you're also the type of person who's so crazy that trump being the vaccine guy then right. that's the land that you divert to. So you're just like, oh, this is absolutely the land of fucking misfit toys over here. Wait, I'd like to get a, like a 
a percentage of people who aren't vaccinated, and that's like what completely shades their vote. Oh, I, I mean, say whoever votes for RFK, it's uh, certainly part of it. And a lot of Trump people, a lot uh, of yeah, Trump people. yeah. So he was sixty at the time and married recently married to Cheryl Hines. <laughs> So, what? Yeah, this is 2014. He's 60 years old. Cheryl Hines? Cheryl from Larry from he fucking Kirby 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 Yeah, that's his wife. <laughs> shit about Do you live in a closet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his wife, bro. Because he was a huge environmentalist. Like that was his thing before the vaccine thing came along. His thing was the environment, and Larry David, uh, his now ex-wife, was also a huge environmentalist. And apparently, Larry David introduced the two of them at some function uh, around this time. <laughs> Holy shit! So he had just married her. He's 60 years old he's got a bear in the back of his trunk and uh, <laughs> so a person with knowledge of the event said that kennedy thought it would be funny to make it look as if the animal had been killed by an errant cyclist in central park <laughs> so yeah i don't know how, how bad I... does this car smell <laughs> at this point it's gotta smell so fucking bad dude how come i don't know anything about rfk <laughs> <laughs> so he drives to manhattan and as dark darkness fell he entered central park with the bear and an old bicycle <laughs> now this is like the weirdest part because he's telling the story he's like oh you know well obviously i had an old bicycle and i'm like you so hey, i'm gonna freak out some squares like straight up it's like dude you're 60 and there's a dead animal in your car. yeah like put his hand by like make the bear's mouth go like he's telling the story and it. roseanne it's so funny because she's out of her goddamn mind but her face she, ah! No, no. Her face is like just very like uh, you she's can, shocked. Yeah. Oh, she's shocked because you're like, it's crazy. You're old because <laughs> <you're, laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You're like this would be crazy for someone who's 20 <laughs> instead right, of yeah. 60. But wow. yeah, he uh, so he goes out to Central Park and he makes it look like a bike crash that kills a bear. And so he just leaves a dead bear in Central Park. Also, he had gone to uh, like a steakhouse and then he was like, well, then I had to go to the airport. So I, I couldn't leave the bear uh so i had to do something with it that's when i came up with the central park idea and i was like what the fuck are you talking <laughs> like every when, like it is so funny because at the end of the roseanne thing he's like uh, yeah i'd like to see the new yorker spin that i was like you made it worse you made it sound so much crazier than this article did because <laughs> you talk about all the other shit you did before you dumped the bear in Central Park where it's like you were just going to leave it like in the parking lot at, Le at JFK or LaGuardia or some I shit. Appreci I appreciate a man with an explanation. <laughs> a lot of people just sure, go for an sure. apology, <laughs> which to me is it's fine, but I would like an explanation along with an apology. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the next day, the uh, bear was found, much to the horror of the uh, two women joggers who were just happening through Central Park, and they called the cops. And weirdly, the person who wrote the article about this, it's just now being revealed that it was Robert F. Kennedy Jr. who did this childish prank. But the article uh, was coincidentally written by Tatiana Schlossberg, who is uh, one of JFK's granddaughters. So when it happened, like she was working at the uh, New York Times and wrote the article of like some fucking weirdo left a bear in Central Park, not knowing that it's her cousin or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's Fun times with nepotism. I, I know it's the really <laughs> just the you weirdest can get yourself in a crazy position. You can get yourself a writing job. Also, we should say. He absolutely hit the bear, right? He didn't just find it on the side of the road. He's the one who ran it over. Make it, and that makes it less crazy. <laughs> he hits the bear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it does. It you know really what I mean? Does. Like, because then it's like, oh, I'll get her off the road, and then it's like, oh, I may as well have a little fun with it, or, or whatever. That's, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, just yeah, picking it, up a dead. There's bear almost carcass no difference crazy. in my mind. Because if you hit the bear, it's an accident. Uh, yeah, you're not yeah. gonna go out of your way to fucking hit a bear. You don't touch right, it. You right. don't touch it. I'd be more likely to to move it out of the road if I was the one who hit it. If I didn't hit it, then it's staying there. Well, but if your brain is fifty percent worm, then yes, you kind yeah, of yeah, like, <laughs> you're not afraid of like you know maggots or whatever. So right, right. You could you'll touch it. Oh my god, man! I'm, it I, seems like there'd be a lot of blood involved. <laughs> RFK is like dead, such with prime comedy bear. material. I don't know why I've not like acknowledged his presence. It's hard I think because he I think because he bums me out. Like the, it's, the thing about RFK is the internet's already all over him. There's yeah, I feel like I don't have say. like a take like or whatever. I would not. I shouldn't just inform myself to have a take on it. But. <laughs> The Holy picture is amazing. <laughs> we'll put this up on our uh, Twitter Jesus. and Discord. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the picture. And <laughs> he looks utterly deranged. 
That's oh. uh, the only well, two he's words. He's being bitten by a dead bear. So uh, yeah, I guess. The funny thing is, he, he apparently had this in the back of his car this whole time. You could see in the back of the car. There's not like a tarp there. It's just straight upholstery. <laughs> Yeah, it's like his chair. Yeah, so he's just like <laughs> backseat. The smell in that car. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fucking, fucking be rancid. Yeah, crazy. But he's yeah. a Kennedy. He could just like put a brick on the accelerator and send it off a cliff and get it. <laughs> I was gonna car. say yeah. he could. He could always just drive it into uh, you into, know, the into waters a, of Chappaquiddick it, it, and get it clean into a nursery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, so uh, I'm trying so, to out, tra- out crazy Trump. Uh, that's. I mean, I don't know if he's trying. I think he is crazier than Trump. Trump's just fucking. He <laughs> seems to show that he's just like an old fat salesman. Right. who's not as convincing as he used to. Well, be. and he's also like such a scumbag too, because you know we talked about that video where he you know called Trump after the assassination attempt and. Yeah. Trump, <laughs> and yeah. Well, no, he didn't get a word in edgewise. Trump just like glorified himself about the moment's uh, heroism or whatever. Right. But he was totally trying to be named like director of health and human services or some shit if he if. Trump Trump gets elected. Uh-huh. And then meanwhile, like they also talk about this where somebody leaked his text and he's like, Trump isn't even fucking human. Like he actually hates the guy, apparently. So it's like everyone's such a, I mean, yeah. he's such an opportunist. Uh, you know? Everyone who's ever worked with Trump didn't like him. That's unless true. They're <laughs> able to manipulate Melania. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hates him. <laughs> yeah. So that's the news on the politics front. I had to mention that's that because we've been, I mean, I've been, I've been all over the, you're right, Sammy is my person of the year. It's <laughs> at this point, <laughs> at this he, he Someone like, else is going to have to make a strong, strong run for it. Uh, he's yeah. like every guy you've ever described on this <laughs> podcast in one person. Except he has a national platform. Right. It's amazing. I hope this stuff keeps coming out, you know. It will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's out of his fucking mind. It will. Yeah. You know, he's kind of doing the Eminem and Eight Mile thing. I do live with my mom. I do. Like, he's <laughs> trying to get ahead of all this shit, but you're just like, this isn't. It still makes you look fucking wild, dude. <laughs> there are a bunch of bodies buried underneath my house. It's yeah. coming. So, yeah. Come and find them. Right. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> and then he goes to jail. I do have a shipping container full of women from Estonia. Okay, <laughs> I just do. Uh, I wasn't drinking, of course, but the people were drinking with me who thought this was a good idea. I said, let's go put the bear in Central Park and we'll make it look like he got hit by a bike. <laughs> 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 fun, funny for people.